All right, here's another one of our uh, our expedite package. I'd say this one here would be a little bit more one of our premium packages. Uh, this here is a 2023 Ram Promaster 3500 Extended. Uh, we just finished up three of these for a uh, for a customer, a fleet owner. He's got uh, six more coming, and all of them are going to be about the same. Uh, as you can see, it is the extended version. Uh, we did install a 9500 BTU uh, rooftop AC unit and a uh, Max Air fan. Uh, it's in the back of the back of the van here, and then. Uh, he wanted to go with the Predator 3500 electric start, uh, which is fine. Uh, the air conditioner that we install there doesn't necessarily need one that big, but he's had good luck and that's what he wanted to stick with um, just for the, the replacement warranty and everything else. Uh, the swing arm that you see it mounted on here, we make all them in-house. Uh, unlike the, the store-bought ones, that you see people order on Amazon that have the the little kick out right here that doesn't allow the generator to swing all the way to the side out of the way it uh, you know the back doors can only go 90 degrees to the bumper and it kind of limits where the forklift driver uh, can get in there you know I, I prefer them to be out of the way where our design here you know the ones that you see off of Amazon after they get a little bit of wear on them, whenever you unlatch them and you swing them over just a little bit, they drop way down and then they swing over to the side. They wear out pretty quick. Uh, I've had these uh, in production now for a little while and after a couple of years, they, they haven't dropped hardly any at all. Uh, but we have a spring latch here and then we have our uh, little safety pin. You pull that you come around over here and then it also has another safety pin so all you gotta do is grab that pull that up and then you know I'm shooting a video here so one-handed I mean that swing is completely out of the way and that's a fairly heavy generator so we can bring that around here like that and then this uh, this pin just drops in it's a little easier to do when you're you got both hands but the pin drops in that way if you're at an incline it doesn't swing anywhere as you can see it's swung completely out of the way there's no chance of well I'm not gonna say there's no chance it's less likely for the forklift to hit that uh, we don't use a hitch pin. We actually use a, uh, a hardened bolt that we put through there with a uh, nylock stop nut. And we do double nuts and we torque them down with an in impact to 650 foot pounds. So it's less likely for anyone to try to, to steal that. And we also, you can see our brace there that goes over to the factory hitch mount. The aftermarket mounts that you get uh, from like Ryder or, or Enterprise or U-Haul, they don't have that that mount. So they tend to bend a little bit where this one here, I mean that generator is probably 80, 90 pounds sticking out of there. I can stand on that with that. I'm pushing close to 280 and it doesn't move whatsoever. So just keep that in mind whenever you're looking at these mounts. So as you can see here when we get close, how close it sets to the bumper. So it eliminates that, that overhang that sticks out the back. As we open up the back bumper or the back doors, generally with the ones you get off Amazon, that's as far as you can open the door. Where with our swing arms, The door is completely flat and the bumper, the door doesn't stick out uh, any farther than the generator. So 
you know, it's not obscenely, you know, sticking out there like that. If you come over to this side, we'll open this other back door so you can get a better look at the, the interior here. All of these wall panels in this, as you can see on this one, it is a quarter inch Baltic birch with a, a Luon material, which makes it very slick, uh, very durable, easy to clean. Uh, you know, it makes it look real nice. The Will Will boxes has been bedlined. This package includes a fire extinguisher. It includes four E-Track straps, uh, four bulkhead blocks, the two two by fours for the bulkhead blocks, and the road triangles. So, as you can see with these bedlined, you, know, you have plenty of storage all the way up through there. A nice clean clean look and then you have the uh, the max air fan you also have the RV light uh, 32 inch TV with locking locking swing mount and we'll go around to the front here as we come up to the side door here you can see it has a uh, uh, memory foam mattress there's your 32 inch smart TV it does have a carbon monoxide detector it has a, a 700 watt microwave a 2000 watt inverter and a Wabasto heater a gasoline heater that pulls fuel right out of the tank down underneath that that lid right there is 200 amp hours of uh, a sealed AGM batteries and then the e-track runs the full length of this van uh, and you come up here we've got the, a little shelf right there next to the microwave so you can store some of your smaller stuff up there out of the way then you have the LED RV light and the, uh, the air conditioner uh, I said it's a very very nice clean package um, easy to clean it is insulated the whole van is insulated uh, you know for the we got a little bit of carpet there where your headboard area would be or your footboard depending on what direction you lay same with here we got carpet there so you're you're not feeling the, the cold metal on your feet and you have your, you know, relocated the factory, factory light. Uh, you know, as as of today, this would be uh, first part of January in 23. Uh, this package is running about 15.2, with everything included. You bring the van, and this package will fit right in there. It's around 15.2. Uh, the Ford Transits and then the Sprinters, you know, the Transit, that heater will work just fine in. It is a little bit more because they do make an adapter that we have to put on top of the fuel tank and drop it. Um, the Sprinters, if you wanted the diesel, the S-Bar with a Bosto diesel, uh, I think the price of them is a couple hundred dollars more than the gasoline heaters. But uh, if it's something you're interested in, uh, you know, you can get a hold of us at info at Red's Custom Design. Just remember, we we do take pre-books. So, you know, if you just bought a van today, don't expect to get it in tomorrow to get it uh, get this package put on there. Uh, you know, we generally were a couple months out, uh, but you know, and that price is not locked into stone. I cannot control the pricing, you know, the price of my suppliers and the materials we use. So I'm going to say that, you know, right off the bat. While it is 15.2 as of today, when I go to reorder these panels or plywood or the mattresses or batteries or TVs or, you know, whatever, uh, that price is subject to change. So if uh, this is something that you're interested in, Please send us an email. 
uh, at info at Reds Custom Design. Thank you.